Hey YouTube friends, let me show you what I got here. This is a SO239 connector I put on for my low loss coax. This is called Super 8 coax. And I got 50 foot of this going to the radio room and this is 50 ohms. Now I did read that you should get a quarter wave matching transformer that you can make out of 75 ohm coax and you could calculate um, with a formula and then times the distance times the velocity factor of the coax and the low this low loss stuff is actually velocity factor of, of 0.82 it's actually good stuff but um, it's kind of like expensive so what I want to do is just try 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 it just connected to the antenna like this here now what I got here is that I made this kind of interface thing out of wood because my plexiglass was breaking all the time so I just made it out of wood and the center conductor goes to the high part of the vertical loop and what I did was I um, put silicone all around there to make it waterproof and the the low wire of the antenna the low part of the loop goes to the the outside part of the SO239 and that's like where the shield goes and also what I did was on the shield part I put a gas discharge tube in here and I got that going to ground I got an 8 foot ground rod pounded about two feet away in this flower bed and this is not for like a direct lightning strike but it's to kind of hopefully help on like nearby strikes and these gas discharge tubes I got it's they're very small I got it inside and I just wrapped some plastic from packaging around it and then wrapped it with electrical tape for waterproofing after I soldered it to the wire and they're good for like something like 5,000 amp pulse so I guess it could help with you know if I had a nearby strike but if it was a bad electrical storm I would loosen the wire and take the wire down and, and take the mast down too I got the mast up about 22 feet now I tried tuning this up yesterday and I have the MFG MFJ Versa tuner and I was getting infinite tuning I mean infinite infinite SWR and I found what the problem was see when I secured my wires I had I had wrapped a number of turns around each of these posts and this one over here see right now it's just one turn but I had wrapped maybe like 10 turns around here to secure the the 14 gauge wire and that wire goes way up on the mast and goes up to that tree the poplar tree way out there about 45 feet up in the air and I found out that by by wrapping the wire around and around this was really destroying my SWR it was making it really high and I surmised that that coil there was acting as like a small antenna and interfering with, with this over here so I found out that I could get an SWR of about a 1.2 to 1 at 3.913 megahertz that's pretty decent and that's using the the MFJ Versa tuner too but I can't I can't tune the SWR if I wrap many turns around the post so what I may actually do to get even better SWR is to you see how this I don't know if there's enough resolution to see the wire drop but maybe get this this on a bungee too like a bungee cord thing and put this wire like over here and separate it even more from from the other wire that's over there so that's it though it's it's probably gonna work and there's no one using 80 meters now in the daytime but I could try it later on tonight and, and see if I can make a contact or something 
there was a lot of nets on there uh, last night on Wednesday night on 80 meters and it seems like Wednesday night is a is a good time for uh, for people that they chose that night to to get on the nets so I was listening to those guys and they all seem pretty pretty cool and all that pretty nice hams so I might be able to get a get in there you know and possibly let's see if I can make a contact anyway folks uh, you have a great day take it easy bye